Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kaylin Otto, and today I'm going to be sharing a video with you about how my partner and I made a passive, thank you mosquito, solar shower heater. So we did this with things laying around the house and then we bought a couple of things. And in this video, it's step by step, but these are just, this is just an outline so that you can go use what you have and make this how you wanna make it. I'm so excited that you are watching this video. As you may have noticed, usually I'm sharing travel videos and vlogs and things like that on this account, but over the past couple years, I've been sharing some things on vegan homesteading. So if you like it and you wanna see more, go ahead head in the comments and tell me what you would like to see and stay tuned because we did get a solar oven so hopefully soon here we'll be sharing some videos on how it worked and if you should get one thank you so much for watching if you like this video please like it subscribe follow me and share this video with your family and friends so we can spread the free resources all right let me show you what we're working with so notice this piece of glass that's from an old door that's what we're going to be using for this project and here are a couple things that we had to go out and buy check the black spray paint my favorite part so like I mentioned before to the intro of this video we're working with extra scrap materials that we already have so I'm not gonna be sharing with you the exact measurements but first things first you're going to be making a frame for this glass and you're going to be needing a backboard to go behind it that's gonna hold the pipes in so you're going to be measuring you're going to be cutting and creating something that works for you with what you have. All right, so we made our frame and we put everything securely together and then we had to cut the piece of wood that was behind the frame so that it would be a good back piece. This is what we came up with. This was part of our final product. We had to add another frame inside the frame so that it would hold the glass up and you will probably need to do the same. But keep watching and we'll show you how this project progressed. Now this is what our frame looks like with the glass inside. After the whole frame was secure and we knew that the glass fit in nicely, we took the glass off and we had to put a couple holes into our frame so that the tubes could go in and out successfully. So here's how we did that. Now we're going to take our half inch PEX pipe and see if it fits through the hole we made. And it did! <laughs> the hardest part of this project, to be honest, was just getting this piping in, so we had to come up with different ways to hold it in place, and I'm sure this will look different for everyone. But here is me trying to wrap the pipe in successfully, and as you can see, I did not do a very good job, and it's very challenging. So after a while, hopefully you can get it down pat, but it can be hard to figure out at first, not gonna lie. We finally managed to get a system down that worked and this was after playing with this for a long time. This was honestly the slowest, hardest part of the project but eventually we got it down and got into some sort of rhythm. So as you may have noticed, these past few video clips are sped up so don't expect to do this part of the project lickety split because it's probably going to take you a while. Now let me show you what it looked like once we got the piping in. Woohoo! I was so excited. And then it was time to spray paint everything black. Honestly, this was my most favorite part of the project. That's also just because I like spray painting. So take your time. Try to get everything as good as you can because once you put this all together, you don't want to have to take it apart again. And obviously, once you're done building, you're going to have to have a nice sunny spot in mind for your passive solar water heater. Yes! This was the final product of what we had, and as you can see, it's looking real sleek. Very proud of ourselves. We still didn't know if it was going to work, but we had to hook it up to our water that we get that's gravity fed from the mountain. And we built a very interesting shower head, which you were about to see in a moment. So once you're at this stage, put that glass back on and set it up in a sunny spot. Ta-da! <laughs> we used an 
old watering can for our shower head for now. And let me tell you, this project actually worked. When the sun is out, hot and blazing, it really does warm up the water. But you usually have to let it go for a minute or so so that the hot water can make its way down to wherever you are. So obviously this is not going to heat your shower all the time if there's not enough sun to warm up the pipes. But this is an awesome system, especially if you can use old things that you already have for when that sun is out and you get a nice warm shower. Thank you solar. Such a passive, awesome system. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you made this, if you recreated this, if you already had something like this, please go comment below. Let us know if we can see you building it and how this project worked for you. Until next time.